So first you have to verify the order from the provider, and then you ask the patient if he has any allergies um, to latex or anything like that, and then you do hand hygiene. You introduce yourself, so I'll come in and say, hi, my name is Lila Bowen, I'll be your RN today. Uh, we're going to be doing a Foley catheter, is that okay with you? They'll say yes, and then you have to identify the patient with two identifiers, their name, date of birth. And then we'll palpate the bladder to see if there's any um, urine in the bladder because if there is, you can't do a catheterization. And then I'll gather all my equipment and then we'll get started. Put this up under the bed. This will be out. <laughs> You're only supposed to touch two inches on the or one inch on the outside, but I had some complications. So. And you'll set this between your legs without touching it, but however it falls, it falls. And then you want to make sure that um, the peripineal is, the area is all cleaned up. Then I can get sterile. Only touching the outside folds. I might have to move this so you can see. Can you pick this up? And now you can fix whatever on the other hand. I'm supposed to touch everything, but I had to move the camera. Now you can get in the sterile field. Right here. You can put it on the sterile field. And then you can get your tube of saline and get it all ready on the catheter. Now you can bring the whole thing over to your work area. Mm, you're not supposed to touch this once again. One second. There you go. So now you take antiseptic solution and you put it all over your cotton balls. Put it back. And you take your lubricant, run through the cap. Put a little bit in here. Put back on. Put it right there. And now you're ready to clean. And you put it right in the garbage. Work from the top, swirl all the way down. 
until you're out of cotton balls. So this hand is not sterile anymore because it touched the penis, but this hand still is. So you want to pick the smallest catheter possible. And you always want to have an extra one on hand in case something goes wrong. You want to hold the penis at a 90 degree angle to the body. You want to lube the tip up. And you just want to keep going. You want to go all the way down to the Y in the catheter. And then you should get your in back flow. And holding the catheter with this hand, take this hand, inflate the balloon, make sure that you have make sure that you have 10 cc's or make sure you know how much fluid you have. So that when you take it out, you have the same amount. And then undo that. And catheter is good to go. And then you can take your bag and you can clip it down here at the bedside. Make sure the valve is closed on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. But then, if you want to um, take a, a clean sample, you're going to want to um, make sure that this spot's clean with a wipe. And then you can put your syringe on it, take your sample out, and then make sure it's clean again. Um, if you want to irrigate, you do this in the same port, but make sure you have to clean it first. Um, if the catheter does not go in and it, it hurts the patient, stop and tell them to take a deep breath and then you can proceed. But if it still doesn't go in, then you're going to have to put a different catheter in, which you might have to put a day if it's an older patient with prostate. So then to take it out. this right on this port. And just pull out. You want to make sure that you have the same CCs as you put in. So I see I got 10 in here and that's how much I put in. So then you can take that and you hold it in degree and you can just pull it right out. Holy Catherine.